Hello everybody, I'm Stefano, the developer of the Postpay Country plugin, and in this video I will show you how to set up the Postpay Country plugin to best suit your needs. So after you've installed the Postpay Country plugin, you will have this new menu on, on the uh, WordPress sidebar, which is called Postpay Counter and has two items, which are Starts and Options. I'd highly recommend going to Options first to set it up. Uh, First, remember that these little blue dots with an I, uh, which stands for info, give you a lot of information. They're written into these little things, the documentation for the plugin. So if I click, I get to know what basic payment is about. And these are literally spread everything. Every function has its dot. So if you're unsure what a function may do, just click the dot and read. Now, uh, content settings. This box tells the, the settings in this box tell the plugin how payments should be computed, meaning what are the criteria that uh, make up a payment. So, for example, basic payment is the payment that a post gets just because it is being counted. It doesn't matter how many words it has, how many visits, and everything else, it's just because it's counted. So, uh, for example, if you say that published and future scheduled posts are counted, then all future scheduled and published posts will get this basic payment, and all the other payments will be added to this basic payment. Uh, of course, you can specify the exact fixed value of this basic payment, but that's easy. Now, everything else is added to this basic payment. For example, payment on work counting is the payment computed based on how many words the post has. And there are two ways you can uh, pay per word. There is the zonal system and the incremental payment system. Uh, the incremental payment system simply says each word is worth one euro, one cent, whatever. Each word is that. And simply the number of words will be multiplied for this value. Uh, so it's pretty easy. While the zonal system is a bit more complicated because it's uh, it zones. So between 100 and 200 words, you give one euro. And then from 200 words to, for example, uh, 300 words, you get two euros. And from 300 and above, you get always three euros. Uh, you can set up up to 10 zones, but no less than two, because of course there needs to be at least one zone uh, in the middle. Th these buttons allow you to add and delete zones quite easily. Now, if you want to put a limit on how or on the maximum number of words that a post will be paid for, you can use this field which, uh, which says, for example, a thousand, it means there are not more than a thousand words will be paid. So if you use the incremental payment system and you say that each word is worth a cent, in this way you're sure that you're never gonna give more than 10 euros for the words. Then other payments may get may increase this payment, but words will never be worth more than 10 euros. This is very useful. Uh, if you don't want to use it, just leave it to zero, which means infinite, and you're done. If you don't want to use the words payment, just uncheck it. Uh, and the same is for basic payment. You just uncheck the main option. And the same applies to payment for visits. Payment for visits just works the same as we saw for words, but with visits. And visits, uh, it can't, the plugin can't count, can't keep track of visits itself. It needs to rely on another plugin that you have to, to have installed on your own. Uh, then if you have done that, it's, uh, it's enough to put the post meta name in this field to have the plugin do its work and pull the visits for the post and count them. So I don't know, maybe we're using WP post views and the and that post meta may be uh, called WP post views and then uh, we would just write WP post views in here and the plugin will get the, the views from there and, and do everything. 
uh, there is an add-on for the Postpay Counter, which is called Postpay Counter Pro, which allows you to pull visits data from Google Analytics, which is far more secure and safe. And in that way, you're sure that visits are unique and counted. And I mean, it's the world's world leading tracking system. So it's fairly reliable. And then you still have zonal incremental system. It doesn't, doesn't change. And then the limit for the counting visits. The counting system are the same for all the possible countings that we will see. So it won't really uh, stop that much. Uh, then payment on images and on comments are very similar one to the other because they again have the same kind of systems as we have seen but they have this counting option that we've not seen yet uh, so you can define a range of countings for images and comments so maybe you want to pay images but you're not really paying all the images that a writer may put in so you're saying that you may want to pay images from two images to ten images that those images are worth paying. So, for example, in this in this way, you would pay uh, ten, eight images. It's, it's ten minus two, and these ten minus two would be multiplied for the payment for each image. Uh, just think a little about it, and, and you get into the the idea. Uh, you can also include include feature image in counting, which is not accounted in these counting options. So in this way, you would count nine images. So it's important to keep it in mind. And the same works for comments. You can decide to pay from two comments to ten comments. The comments that lie in between these numbers will be paid. So of course, you can leave this to infinite and they will pay infinitely with no limit. Or actually, it'd be better to put one and, and, and zero uh, in the stop pane because it should work better. But anyway, it's... now total payment is is a general limit. So all the payments total should not be more than say I don't know fifty. You're sure that you're never gonna pay more than fifty euros a post. Uh, again, if you don't want to have a limit, just leave it at zero, which is infinite. After you've set the payment maximum, you can check this, this field which says to the plugin that all posts that don't reach the threshold should be grayed out and not counted in, in general stats. Now the miscellanea, uh, it's fairly simple. You can decide what status, uh, what post statuses should be counted. So for example, a post, published posts are counted default while future schedule can be counted or cannot, and pending revision as well. It's up to you. While exclude quota counting from what counting means that when counting words, uh, if this is checked, all block quotes and quotes will be deleted from the post counting mechanisms, uh, just to be sure that all the words that are being counted were really written by your writers, who not really quotations and something like that. So again, useful. Now on the right, you have two boxes that I really recommend you to read because it's important. Anyway, uh, personalized settings. We have personalized settings is a very interesting feature which allows you to personalize settings for single users. Now the settings that we've seen apply to all users, regardless of their role or anything. Well, if you want to pay more a user or pay less or give them different permissions as we'll see you can use this feature uh, basically you must know the role that the user has and then click it there's an initial request going on and then you get the available users which could be more than that of course but there's no limit then you click on on this on the user and you get the same configuration page and you, you just uh, set it up, save, and you're done. Uh, for example, if we save this and we refresh the general settings, the po the plugin will tell us that some users have different settings, as you can see here. So uh, it's quite handy to know who we've already personalized and who not. And quite easily, if you want to delete someone's settings, just go there, and on the upper right, there is a delete user settings link 
in written in red, so it's quite easy again. And you will be redirected to the general options page. Miscellanea is gives you some uh, some settings which are only available in the general view. Uh, personalizing per user will not show this miscellanea because they are for all users, they can't be personalized. Uh, so for the first says choose the post types you'd like to be included in countings, uh, which means choose the post types of which posts should be counted. So for example, if I want posts and pages to be counted and paid, I just check posts and pages. If I'm running some kind of photographic website and they're all attachments, I can check attachment or whatever. It's up to you and your needs. While well, user rows whose posts should be included in countings, uh, again, quite straightforward. What users posts should be included in countings and then it's up to you. Uh, you may not want to pay administrator posts because it's you, I don't know, and then you can check it. Um, just to your needs. Plugin options, permission. Who can view this page, this options page? Now, uh, be careful not to uncheck everybody, otherwise you'll be locked out. But anyway, uh, I don't know who's in charge of the payment or whatever, just check who should see this configuration page, which is not the stats and the countings, it's just the configuration. Uh, remember that who can see can also edit, so they may tweak things without you knowing, I don't know, just keep it in mind. While plugin stats page permissions are what we will see in a minute, so who can see plugin stats page? Uh, I'd actually advise everybody because everybody should be able to see the stats, but anyway, it's up to you. Uh, the last setting is not to be overlooked because it's quite interesting and useful. Uh, basically, the plugin works with in a time frame. When you select stats and countings, you always say, I want stats from the 1st of August to the 31st of August or something like that. So, this default stats time range tells the plugin what is the default work set. I mean, what is the default uh, time frame that should be selected when you open stats? What is the default time range on which you think? So, uh, usually it's current month because people part pay at the end of every month and things like that. But maybe you just pay every two months. So you just use the uh, custom number of days and you set in here like 60, which is two months roughly. And then you, you can go on like this, um, but it's, it's quite important. People often go in the stats and tweak the time frame every time they open the stats, which is a pain in the ass. While well, this setting allow you to not do that. And now I, I'll save this this way so uh, we can see the effect. Now the last box permissions I left it for the I left it for last uh, is handy to to prevent users from seeing things they should not see permissions it's quite difficult to understand without seeing stats but anyway uh, general stats are stats in which just a summary is shown with all the users and just the written posts and total payment it's just that general payment general stats. Well, detailed stats is one only author in depth, meaning that all the posts uh, should be paid with all the detailed demands are laid down. So uh, these two permissions should be uh, tweaked um, consequently. While this list is very important because if you personalize settings for some user, you may not let other users know that you've personalized settings because maybe you're paying more someone and you don't want other users to know. So you just check this and when a user loads the stats page, they will see stats as if uh, the general settings are used or actually the they of user settings are used. So don't, again, don't overlook this, it's quite important. And finally, remember that every change in the settings reflect immediately in the stats. Uh, it doesn't matter that some posts have already been counted, they will have the new settings already. They will not hold the old settings. They will get the new settings as soon as you save actions. So keep that in mind because it may be uh, unwanted. Now uh, let's go to the stats page again for the sidebar. 
and you can see uh, previously I selected a two months time frame and the plugin selected for me by default the previous two months so from today to November um, but if I want to adjust the time frame I can just click on the text fields and the tiny date picker comes out and I can select uh, for example from the first published post ever in 2011 and then update time range. The plugin will get posts from that time range however best you may be. Now uh, remember that if you have a very large database it may be a really bad idea to select a three year, three year span uh, of, of time and of posts because it may crash or whatever your website because of the of the load too much. Uh, it's not because of the plugin, it's because you're asking the plugin to pull such a huge amount of data that it can't hold it. But that is up to you. I mean, it's not the plugin's fault. R remember this. It's because you ask them too much. Now, this is the general view as it is stated here, and it shows you uh, a summary. So just Author name, written posts, uh, total payment, just simple as that, and authority, of course. And underneath, uh, total displayed posts of all the authors and total displayed payment, again, as the sum of all the authors. Uh, if you, you can see that total payment has little dots un under it, uh, and if you over on it, you will see a details of the payment, so how much of it is basic payment, and words payment, and visits payment, and so on so that you get a very specific idea of what you're paying for. Now, for example, let's go to a, an author and we can see its detailed stats. Detailed stats are all the posts that we're paying for with the ID, title, post type, post status, publish date, post words, post comments, post images, and total pay, finally. Uh, if you had if you don't select in the settings some kind of payment for something, it won't be shown here. So, for example, we have not uh, set uh, the visits up, and here it is not shown. So, it's dynamic. As soon as you change the settings here, our column will disappear. Now, uh, again, the total pay can, can show you the details of the payment, so how much is basic payment and comments and everything and uh, clicking on the title will lead you to the post uh, in, in, in the public form, let's say, so the post view. Again, here you can tweak the date, the post, the, the time frame. Now I guess that's all. Uh, for any question, any doubt, any feature request as well, or any bug reporting, just email me at uh, webmaster at thecrown.org and I will reply to you as soon as possible, or the rather support forums which should be uh, preferred, uh, that can be like uh, reach just googling post paper country support and that should be the first result. So uh, yeah, that, that they should be there. Uh, in fact, here, yeah, just go to the here, yeah, WordPress support. So go there, open a topic and I will reply to you as soon as possible. Hoping this has been useful. Have a nice day. Bye.